Christmas, baby. A time of lights, food and festivities, gifts of gingerbread, tinsel and toys. But it's also a good time to reflect on our blessing. Sometimes it can be all too easy to forget that. I'll tell you a story about a fella named Pat, who owned a state-of-the-art studio deep in the heart of Texas Hill Country. One Christmas Eve, he found himself in a whole heap of trouble and got his spirits down. Well, speaking of spirits, old Pat was about to get a visit from three of them, which was really going to shake things up. So listen, here's the bottom line. I hear great things about what you guys are doing out there, and we're obviously all super busy. But we're in town already, so it looks like we can make this happen. Send over the paperwork and we'll go from there. Cool? Sounds great. We'll get started and let you know. Thank you. Ciao. Woo! This is awesome. Okay, team. This is huge. This is the biggest artist we've ever had. It's a great project for us, but it's going to take a lot to get it done in such a short period of time. So first things first. Hey, guys. Got a great idea I wanted to share with you. Peyton, we just booked a huge Christmas show and we've got to get started on it. That's perfect. The idea I had was for a Christmas video I want us to make. Oh, Peyton, our plate's pretty full. What, what do you have in mind? Well, it's nothing too crazy. Pretty simple. Wait a minute. Every time you say simple, I gotta pull out my checkbook. Hear me out, hear me out. So basically, I was thinking we could make a holiday extravaganza piece. Multiple scenes, vignettes, shoot it with internal crew. Uh, we could do it all right here. Very minimal budget, of course, and it wouldn't take that long. You know, with everything that's going on right now, I, I feel like it's tough. People are struggling. We could really spread some Christmas cheer if we... Peyton, 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 let me stop you right there. We just, we do not have the bandwidth. We just don't. This is a huge client for us. We have to make sure this goes off without a hitch. I'm sorry. Right, I, I get it, I get it. But I think if we, if we work together and we really get creative... Peyton. I love the idea. It sounds like fun, but we have to focus on this show right now. Exactly, exactly. So, gang, let's get started. you guys are going to show up and we'll get it ready.
What a beautiful day. Unbelievable.
I saw him going down the neighbor's chimney one night. Santa Claus asked me pointers on putting up Christmas lights. Of course. The most important thing is be sure the power is turned off. The worst I got was like 800 volts of uh, horizontal output tube plate voltage at about 15,000 hertz. And it was very uncomfortable. Has running a studio pushed you to the brink? Is the stress of your shortcomings too much to bear? Are your feeble efforts simply not doing enough? Then ask your doctor about Screwitol. Screwitol is a prescription medicine proven to treat Pat Drennan. Clinical trials have shown that it may actually work. Tell your doctor immediately if you experience any sadness, fatigue, irritability, anxiety, lack of concentration, worry, headaches, internal bleeding, debilitating pain, or death, as these may be serious side effects. three ghosts tonight, so I'll let you get to that. Now, hold on. Lance? 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 God, it's Elvis. Oh. Okay, now, now I'm dreaming. You're dead. I'm not dead, baby. Just working on a tune. Wanted to get back on the old console here. I remember working on this beauty. One of a kind, this Neve. I'm all shook up. And we got a lot of other cool toys, too. We got Carol King's piano. We got Steve Hennig's guitar. We got James Brown's mic. Yeah, man, you got all the cool stuff. It's a musician's dream. Your own little grace lair. Okay. Just remember that, Bubba. You built a great space here with a little slice of history. You ain't nothing but a lucky hound, dog. Thank you. Thank you very much. And on that note, I'm leaving. got to be the shortest dolly track I ever saw. And just like I told them, it's blowing out. All right, cut, cut, cut. Listen, Pat, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but it's the way you're looking at it that we need to discuss. Listen, what I'm trying to do is to foster an environment where we develop a look that's different than anybody else. And you 
have. Look at all you guys have done this year. And since you've started, you've got a great team here, an inviting culture, and the means to produce some really kick-ass stuff. Well, <clears throat> I do know that nobody cares what I think. Sure, but regardless, you're in a pretty sweet spot at the moment. Things moving in the right direction, you should enjoy it. This particular frequency of blue makes me nuts. Listen, Pat, you also need to consider what you're putting your team through. I paid all these huge dollars and this is what I get? This is the crap that comes out? When is Daddy coming home? Not yet, baby. He has to work late again tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> doing here affects more people than you know. Uh, I think I'm beginning to see your point. Great. Now, action. Hey. What's going on? Taking a break. I'm worn out. You, you're, you're not here on business, are you? Oh no. Just popped in for a drink. I'm here for the honey. Have you ever met Elvis? Why do you ask? N never mind. I'm worried about the future. How's that? I don't know what's gonna happen. No one does, just keep forging on. It's all about the three tenants. You know, you're 100% right. Just give your people the tools they need to succeed. And they'll do it. Also, probably a good idea to treat your wife better. Um, I'm not sure I know how to take that. Take it any way you want. Just take it. Okay. Well, goodbye. Hey, hey, we gotta get everybody to the studio now. What? Pat, it's, it's Christmas Eve. I know, but this is really, really important. What? What's going on? I'll tell you all about it when I see you. Okay, it must be important. I'm nervous. Hey. Hi, everybody. And right off the bat, I know it's tough coming out on Christmas Eve, but we really appreciate it. And I know this has been a tough year for everybody. For all of the th things we have accomplished, I am so proud. It's amazing. Sometimes we face setbacks, but we understand that's going to happen. And I, I truly believe that this next year is going to be our best ever, and it's gonna be because of this group of people. Kind of reminds me when I was roughnecking, and I had a tool pusher who was kind of a putz, and I hope I can say that and not offend anybody, but he was sort of, uh, you know, a little mean. Oh, uh, I can tell I've run out of time. But I look good.
Like uh, pecan pie. Okay. Okay, uh, I was thinking about having smoke come out of your ears. Uh, if there's no other special effects in the video, uh, let's say no. <laughs> <laughs> This is the ghost of Christmas present. And as far as I'm concerned, Christmas present, not so great. It's not the way Christmas is normally supposed to be. But we're surviving, we're getting through it. Hopefully next Christmas, that's uh, somebody else's department, will, uh, will be much, 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 much better. Meanwhile, between then and now, I hope you all have a great year. Love you. Fresh battery.
Where in the hell do you get all those presents? You know, I used to have to climb down chimneys, crawl around under Christmas trees. Now all the presents are just sitting on people's porches. It's beautiful. God bless Amazon. Shit, that's good. That is really good. <laughs> Cut.